nice, gentle, easy breath. I just said that cliche, all good things must come to an end, but truly everything does have an expiration date. And that's not always a bad thing. Sometimes we have to end things and it can be a painful goodbye and sometimes it's a welcome change. So let's sit with that for a moment, coming to our breath. And pondering that idea of expiration dates or things ending. The end of one thing is the beginning of something else. So coming to the breath, letting that thought linger just for a few more moments. You can always come back to it later. Sitting up tall, long spine, crown to sky, rooting the sitting bones down to your, the earth. Noticing the breath as it enters the body. If you're comfortable closing your eyes, complete withdrawal of the senses. So blocking out the outside noise and also the inside noise that sometimes we have inside our head. using the breath to keep us centered and focused in the moment. Perhaps you would like to add a mantra or a phrase to help to keep you mindful. It can be something so simple, just to be, or be here now, or anything you'd like. Coming to this place of quiet. Where there is no past and no future, just the present moment. sitting in the quiet space, go ahead and start to just move a little bit from side to side, letting your head feel like an extension of your spine as you gently move with the breath, like a tree blowing in the wind. making this a little bit bigger circle, dancing lion seated a couple of times each way. And then inhale, reach up to the sky, taking a twist turning towards the right, left hand comes behind you, sitting up tall, inhale, exhale, twist. Linger in the twist, take another inhale to lengthen the spine, another exhale, twist a little bit deeper. And then inhale, reach again up to the sky. And turn towards the left, right hand on left knee. Again, sitting up tall, long spine. Exhale, twist over the shoulder. Taking just a few more rounds here in this inhale, extend and lengthen. Exhale, turn and twist.
and then reach up to center. Again, take a little back bend here, interlace the fingers behind the head and drop back and in. Open the chest and heart. Maybe you lift the chin, maybe you don't. But keep opening the heart here, the chest for a little baby back bend, heart opener. Reach the hands back to the sky and go ahead and reach for the earth coming into tabletop position. Knees are hip distance apart. Tuck your toes, inhale, let the belly drop. Gently exhale, round and curl, cat stretch spine. A few more times at your pace, perhaps turning your fingertips back towards you, stretching the wrists. You can even flip the palms open towards the sky. Perhaps moving back and forth, quad stretch here, or even a little baby up dog or cobra or even some dancing lion here on all fours. So just kind of moving the body in any way it feels comfortable for you. Tucking your toes when you're ready to find your first downward facing dog. And in this first downward facing dog, find some movement that feels organic for your body. Making sure the fingers are open wide, shoulder distance on your mat, Drawing your heels back and down, toes pigeon toe to in slightly. Melting the chest back to the thighs, pressing the weight to the back body. Come up on all 10 tiptoes and then go ahead and find some movement here. Maybe it's walking the dog or twisting. Maybe it's just coming up on those tiptoes. Lengthening the side body. Look toward your hands and take some steps up to the top of your mat. When you get there, offer your heart for a lengthened spine. Exhale, fold, let it go. Make sure to bend the knees here to really find that forward fold comfortable. And then reach to rise up with the back bend, countering that forward fold. And then hands down to your sides, mountain pose, Tadasana. Sun salutation A, inhale, reach to the sky, look up. And exhale, flat back, bend the knees a little bit, fold down to the earth or wherever you land. Inhale, slide hands to shins, thighs, look out. Exhale, plant the palms and lower down, using the knees or not, all the way to your belly. Elbows tucked to the rib cage. When you get there, tuck all 10 toenails down, all, bring the shoulders towards the ribs, press just the upper body up, cobra pose, exhale, use the knees, finding downward facing dog. That's a nice gentle way to take a vinyasa. You can add level up to that if you like, or you can stay right there with that. Look to your hands and walk, jump, or float to the top of your mat. And then slide hands to shins or thighs, lengthen out. Exhale, melt and fold. Inhale, rise to shine again with another little back bend or maybe a bigger back bend if you're feeling that. And then hands again, heart center, down to mountain pose. One more time, let's flow with breath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, vinyasa, any variation that feels appropriate. We inhale, up dog or cobra pose. We all exhale together, downward facing dog. Finding three to five long, slow breaths here, in through the nose and out through the nose. Practicing Ujjayi Pranayama, victorious breath of yoga, stoking the internal flame in your body. Inhaling and exhaling, in through the nose, out through the nose, staying right here in the moment. Look toward your hands, come up on your toes and fly your feet forward right in between your hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, rise to stand. Another back bend, maybe a bigger one. And then mountain pose, Tadasana. Sun Salutation B, Surya Namaskar B. I'm going to break it down and slow it down a little bit. So inhale, feet together, knees together, thighs together. Squeeze one big leg, Uttatasana Chair Pose. Stay here for two breaths. So you can feel the inward spiral of the thighs. And exhale, release. Feels good to release, let it go. Inhale, slide hands up and find length in the spine. Hands plant to the earth, we find vinyasa. Maybe this time you're taking a Chaturanga Dandasana to hover and then upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. The right leg reaches for the sky and we find organic movement here in the right leg. Maybe even elevating up on the left toes. Square it off, so turn the toes down and the heel pressing in the imaginary wall behind you. Now lean forward, shoulders over wrists, knee to nose, knee to forehead, cat stretch spine, pull it up and in. And then gently send the foot right in between the hands. Come up on all 10 fingertips, runner's lunge. Draw your back heel to tap. And then reach halfway out, rooting right into your feet, feeling your legs strong. And then rising up, warrior one, Vita Bhadrasana one. Hips and shoulders square forward, knee over ankle, legs are strong. Reach forward again, tap the earth, step back, plank, lower down, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Left leg reaches high and then finding movement and space. Noticing the breath. Turning the hips square again. Leg is straight back, heel is pressing. Come forward, finding the strength of the core, plank. Knee comes, pulls up into nose, into forehead, into the body. Step through, low lunge, up to the fingertips, runner's lunge. Back heel spins, rise halfway, feel the legs. Rise all the way, warrior one. Back down for vinyasa your way. Leading in child's pose or downward facing dog, or perhaps you want to add in some more strength, you could add in push ups or more vinyasa, or you can just rest. Breathing in child's pose or downward facing dog, in through the nose and out through the nose. Staying in the moment, breath by breath, and posture by posture. The fluidity of our practice in vinyasa like a dance, special placements. One pose flows to the next. Much like the dance of life. Journey to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and fold. Sit back, rise up, Utkatasana chair pose. Stand tall, mountain pose. Our practice is a combination of strength, balance, and flexibility. Finding our first balancing posture, tree pose, Rikshasana, standing tall on the left leg, bring the right knee to chest. Turning the foot inside the inner thigh, pressing energy to the thigh and back to the foot, or 
just tapping the foot to the earth or the ankle. Keep the knee spinning open, hips are square but open. And finding Hakini Mudra, the Mudra of Concentration. So touching all 10 fingertips together, letting the shoulders and chest open. Bring that to the sky and turning it into prayer, Anjali Mudra. Staying in the tree pose as long as it's appropriate and you'll know when it's time to get out. And if you feel that, maybe take one or two more breaths, knowing the expiration of the pose is coming, savoring the last few moments, and then exiting the pose when it's the appropriate time. Finding some movement before we do the other side. Maybe some figure eights. Maybe we make some circles. Tap on your kidneys. Finding tree on the other side, we'll stand on the right leg this time, left knee first to chest, and then decide where the foot lands. Hakini Mudra again. Your drishti, your gazing point for balance, is six to ten inches in front of you at something not moving. Once you feel steady in the balance, reach the arms up overhead, turning these hands. If you come out, just come back in, into prayer. Breathing. And we'll stay as long as it feels appropriate. Finding mountain pose again. This time let's find stillness in mountain pose. Practicing a moment of gratitude before we move on. Taking just a few breaths here. Chair pose again, sit back Utkatasana. Bring prayer hands to heart center, press energy between the palms, tap the thumb to the chest, right at the heart, and then twist over towards the right, making sure the knees don't slip and they're lined up, and making sure the chest and the thumb lines up at center. Chair prayer twist. Look up over your back shoulder, drop your hips, Option to take a balance here, maybe a side crow, or you open up your arms, or a flamingo, lifting up the left foot. So options always, yogis. And then we'll finish all in a forward fold, relaxing out, letting it go with a big sigh breath. Inhale, lengthen again in through the nose, back to ujjayi pranayama. Exhale, vinyasa down to the bottom, or hover. Upward facing dog, or cobra. And exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Right foot steps right in between the hands. We've been here before, we rise up, warrior one. The next breath straightens out the leg, hands come to heart center. Set the foot up just a little bit, maybe a footprint, and turn it a little bit towards the front as you prepare for head to knee pose, pyramid pose, Parasvottanasana. From the hips, hinge forward, flat back. Keeping hands at prayer for a moment, organizing the hips and shoulders, and then releasing hands to either shin block or earth as you come forward into this pyramid pose. Look out, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold in, knee to nose, chin to chest. 
keeping the back heel down, or if you need to, you can even bend the front knee and come up on the back tiptoes. We're trying to find space in the back of the right leg. Breathe. Hands come back to hips, come halfway up, nice and slow. All the way up. Arms come out to a T, we turn open to the big side of our mat and turn the back foot so the short edge of the mat lines up to the outside edge of your foot. Inhale, lift up the chest and heart, and then exhale, push fear out of your life. Yogis, what is the one thing that you are most afraid of? Push it away out of your life. And then exhale, reach the hand to thigh or shin or yoga block, which I'm going to do. Finding extension and opening through the shoulder girdle. Inhale, come back to a T. Hands to hips. Turn forward again. And now fly airplane Warrior three, hands can be at heart center, hands can be at stick in front or out to the side, yogi's choice. After the warrior three, we'll turn this into a standing L or a standing split. So stay with it as long as you'd like. And then when you're ready, either the hands drop down only or hands drop down and leg lift up. Standing split can become a standing split balance by taking one or both hands behind the right leg, continuing to lift those left toes up and tuck the chin chest towards the right leg. We will finish in a forward fold. Lengthen the spine, look out. Fold one more time, release. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Stand tall, mountain pose. Breathe. On the next inhale, find yourself in chair again, Utkatasana. And hands to heart, center right at the thumb to heart. Chair prayer twist, twist to the left. Notice the knees. Look up over the back shoulder, keep pressing hands to heart center. Options, if you took them on side one, do them again on side two. Exhale, release and fold down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa your way. Maybe add more in here, a double chaturanga or maybe a push-up. So whatever you feel appropriate. Pressing back to down dog. And then the next inhale, step the foot, left foot forward in between the hands. Spin the back heel, rise up, warrior one. Find the breadth of extension in the spine. And then hands to heart center, straighten out the front leg. Step the back foot a foot, front forward. Exhale, come halfway down, squaring hips and shoulders. The next exhale brings you all the way into the posture. Pyramid pose, Parvottanasana, head to knee. Lift up the back heel, bend the front knee, use a block, make it accessible. We're working towards lengthening the back of the left leg. Finding breath here. Rise halfway up and then all the way up. Arms out to a T, turn towards the right, let the back foot open as well so that the short edge of your mat lines up to the outer edge of your foot. Inhale, lift up, exhale, reach, and then finding Trikonasana, triangle pose.
In this pose, we imagine that our hips and shoulders are touching an imaginary wall behind us as we lengthen through the shoulder girdle and breathe. Eye gaze can be up or down wherever your neck is happiest. And we keep reaching for the sky with those fingertips. Trying not to dump into the bottom with our bottom hand, using the core to hold the body. Come back up, turn hips and shoulders square, turn the foot forward a little bit. Finding warrior three, your variation. And breathe. Turning this warrior three when you're ready into supported warrior three or standing split balance, one or both hands behind the left leg and keep reaching those right toes to sky. Notice the left leg different from the right, breathe. Finish in forward fold, inhale, offer the heart, lengthen. Exhale, let it go again. The next inhale, rise, chair pose, Utkatasana. Stand tall, mountain pose, Uttanasana. No, Tadasana, sorry. Tadasana. Tada, mountain pose. Inhale, sweep up, look up. Take a side butt bend here. So let's take the right hand around the left wrist side, bend over crescent shape. And back to center, hands interlace, back bend. Notice the breath, inhale in through the nose, out through the nose. Catch the left wrist side, bend over crescent shape. And to the top again. Come down, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Walk back to plank, right hand moves to center. Vashi Sasana, side plank. Yogi's choice on the variation. Maybe you lift the leg, maybe you drop a knee, maybe you reach, utita, side extension. So Yogi's choice here. Let's hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, plank. Press back down, dog, reset the hips and spine. And then forward to plank again, left side plank, your variation, whatever works. Again, for 10, you count it out in your head. Plank again, downward facing dog. Right leg up to the sky. Step it through warrior two. Step the foot through, rise up, cartwheel open, warrior two. Similar to triangle, except the front knee is bent. Side angle pose, elbow to knee, or hand to block inside your foot, or hand to ankle. This top arm can be reaching to sky, towards me, or even just on the hip for side angle pose. Another option is to take a bind here, bound side angle. Sweeping back through warrior two, stay low in the front knee and find exalted warrior breathe. Warrior two again to mark the space. Hand comes down to earth or block, half moon. Lift up the back leg as high as you can. We're open though, hips and shoulders square, so the chest is not pointing down to the floor. 
it is open heart. Perhaps taking a bind here, or even floating the bottom hand in the half moon, Ardha Sandrasana. And we'll finish in a forward fold, everybody forward fold. Top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Vinyasa. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, press downward facing dog. Left leg steps through, cartwheel open, Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Tip it over, side angle pose. Front knees bent. Option for bind or different arm variations. Perhaps even a bird of paradise if it's in your practice. But continuing to make sure that knee tracks right over the ankle towards the second toe. Mark warrior two, stay low in the leg and then reach up and back for exalted warrior. Finding that half moon arch and drasana again this time on the left side. Try to do what you did on side one, on side two, may or may not work. Forward fold over your legs. Inhale and lengthen. Find a low squat, come up on your tiptoes. Take a crow pose if it's in your practice, and if not, seated bound angle. Sit down with feet together, knees apart. Or maybe you're practicing crow. And let's come to our knees for camel pose, Ustrasana. So I like to roll my mat a little bit under my knees to give them a little bit of cushion. And we wanna come straight up. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see my feet. So we wanna start with our toes tucked. And we'll start with a nice, easy, supported camel pose. So just hands right here in the low back, and then just press the chest and heart open. You can let the chin towards the sky, or you can keep it tucked, and this might be enough for you. Maybe you wanna try one at a time. Left hand and then the right hand up for half a camel, Ardha Ustrasana. Come back to center. And then the other side. And back to center. Let's go ahead and take a cat stretch just to counterbalance that back bend. So tap your toenails down and cat stretch the spine. And then coming in for another camel pose, either a full Ustrasana or two more halves or just as supported. You can leave the feet up so they're a little closer, or you can drop down to the toes, the feet are a little further away. We inhale and lengthen up out of the rib cage before we find the back bend, and the hips come forward. Head falls back, or chin tucks in. Breathe. Release, child's pose, rounded spine. Exhale. 
And then we sit back into bound angle pose again. If you haven't already been there, it's your first time. If not, it's your second. Feet together, knees apart. Like you're reading the pages of a book to open your feet, inhale, lengthen. Maybe give yourself a little foot massage here. Exhale, fold forward. Ah. Inhale, bring the knees together and slide the feet out in front of you, curl the toes, maybe move some flesh out of the way. Inhale and lengthen. Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold, reach for me first, then reach for your ankles or your shins or your thighs, or maybe you're pulling your toes back if you have space. Inhale again and exhale, come in a little bit further. Try to keep the chin up the chest with a flat back. And we'll take a few more stretches just like this, slowly moving into the final expression of the posture for you. And then when you're ready, we're going to exhale all the way down to our back. Pulling the knees into the chest, making some circles on the sky. And then a happy baby or straddle. Feet towards sky, hands on edges of feet. Or straddle, we take it wide. Cross the right over the left and see if you can wrap the right foot around the left leg and maybe even double wrap into eagle legs. That's a little much. You don't have to do that. And we'll take a spinal twist now towards knees to the right. We look to the left. So legs were open and now they're closed. From here, you can also add a little bit of crunches if you want, a little oblique work, maybe take like 10. Bring it back to center, hug it in. Legs straight up, curl your toes in. Let's take some low abs, just kind of a little crunch straight up, maybe 10. And we cross the right around, nope, we cross the left around the right. Maybe you wrap or double wrap. If not, we just find the spinal twist, moving the knees to the left, opening the arms and looking to the right. If you took the oblique crunches on the first side, go ahead and add them in here. And then let's find yourself stretching out in both directions. And if there's anything your body still wants, maybe an inversion or another arm balance or anything else you can think that your body's asking for, maybe you want to take a reclined pigeon or something else, go ahead and take whatever it is that feels appropriate to you. And when you're ready to find yourself in your final posture, Shavasana, coming either to your back or to your side. And finding the breath nice and easy and natural. We're not holding on to the breath. We're not forcing it in any way into any shape. We're just allowing it to go. Yogis, I started class today talking about how things have an expiration date and an ending is a new beginning. And so today's reading is about embracing life's mysteries. 
Embrace the mystery of life. You don't need to know everything in your head and you don't need to figure everything out and you don't need instructions or a set of rules. You don't need to know all the answers either. Let yourself experience life. Hang on to the handlebars when you must, but as much as possible, put your hands in the air and enjoy the ride. Feel everything you need to feel along the way. Feel the fear, feel the joy, feel the exhilaration. Feel the wind in your hair and the sun on your shoulders. Feel the vitality of life surge through you. See vitality and life in all that's around you. Watch the magical journey of your life unfold with all of its ups and all of its downs, with all the new beginnings and all the endings. Feel the awareness surge up from deep within you. Grasp the insights that come and grab that brass ring whenever you can. Embrace the mystery of life and embrace the mystery and the magic of you. So take a few more moments here in the quiet with your breath. Stay as long as you'd like, as long as you need in this space. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. May we contribute to that happiness and freedom. Namaste.